Vocabulary 15. Hi, I'm Sonia. Welcome once again to our TOEFL vocabulary series. In this series, we systematically explore hundreds of words that frequently come up in the TOEFL test. I also give you sample sentences in which these words are used. The content of the sentences is academic and the reading level is quite advanced because that is what you can expect in the test. Today we're going to look at words that relate to the past, to history. I hope you enjoy the video. Our first word is fossil. Fossils are the preserved remains of animals or plants that lived and died a long time ago. A fossil can also be the preserved shape of an animal or a plant. The preserved remains can be found in a substance such as amber, or a body may fall into a peat bog and then fossilize there, or a body may be frozen or dry, may, may dry out in a desert and then that would be considered a fossil. The preserved shape usually happens when an animal or a plant dies in a watery environment, falls into that environment, mud and silt deposit on top of the animal, for instance, the soft tissues decay and only the shell or the bones remain behind and eventually all this mud and silt solidify and they become rock and so the fossil is formed. Here is a sample sentence in which the word fossil is used. Paleontologists view Archaeopteryx as a transitional fossil between dinosaurs and modern birds. It has both avian and reptilian features. Our next two words are excavate and excavation. Excavate is a verb and excavation is a noun. So to excavate means to dig out. In an archaeological context, it means to remove the earth in order to reveal bones, objects and buildings underneath. I've taken some lovely photographs in Pompeii and I'm going to use them as the backdrop um, for illustrating excavate and excavation. The Italian city of Pompeii was buried under ash by the volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. The excavation of the city 2000 years later gives us a fascinating glimpse of Roman life. Archaeologists who excavated the city poured plaster of Paris into the empty spaces surrounding skeletons and created these poignant casts of Pompeian citizens in the act of dying. Next up is the word ruin. The plural is ruins. And a ruin is the part of a building that is left after the rest has been destroyed. When you excavate a city, for instance, the ruins are often revealed. Here are two sample sentences in which I use the words ruin and ruins. The ruins of the Colosseum in Rome require you to use your imagination. This ruin was once a grandiose arena in which 80 men fought for their lives simultaneously and a hundred lions and leopards as well as 300 bears paraded past. Our next term is radiocarbon dating. It is a method used to date to determine the age of very old objects that contain organic matter, for instance bone, cloth or wood that is up to 50,000 years old. Another word for radiocarbon dating is carbon-14 dating. The age of Egyptian tombs could be determined by radiocarbon dating. Organic matter such as cloth or wood was used to carbon date the tombs. Our next word is present day. Present day is an adjective and it means modern or current. Here is a sample sentence in which the word present day is used in context. Present day DNA sampling techniques allow archaeologists to decipher the genetic secrets of mummified bodies. We end with the word decipher. A cipher is a secret language. 
To decipher means to decode a language. Maybe it's a language that you do not understand, an ancient language, and then you decode it. You work out what the meanings of the words are, etc. In broader terms, to decipher something means to understand, interpret, or identify something. Here is a sample sentence. Frenchman Jean-François Champollion used his knowledge of the Coptic language, amongst other things, to decipher the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Well, that's the end of today's lesson. If you'd like to watch more TOEFL vocab videos, go to the Best My Test YouTube channel. The playlist already contains 14 videos, and this is number 15. Goodbye.